Zach, 3 1 win for you in the end. Did you see that coming at half time? Um, yeah, I think they did really. So, Gaffy said at half time, it's one of the games that if we get one, I think they'll go on and get two or three. And that's exactly what happened. The there, was, there was a genuine feeling there, was there? Because there wasn't that much in the first half, but obviously they led through the, the goal from the corner, but you really seemed to step it up a gear after half time. Uh, yeah, like I said, yeah. I think we dominated most of the first half, maybe not an attempt to goal, but I think we kept the ball well. And uh, like I said, the message was at half time that if we continue to do that, do continue their hard work, uh, the goals will come. And luckily they did. And the, once the penalty had gone in, there was never any looking back, really? Uh, no, like I said, once we got one, I thought we felt very confident we'd get two or three more, and that's what happened. Dale showed good resolve on last Saturday and good resolve again today after missing the one at Tamworth, but he stuck his next two penalties away pretty well. Uh, yeah, he's a good player, like I said, I was never in any doubt that he was going to miss, and he struck it nicely. Well, yeah. And presumably as a striker you've just got to accept that once in a while it might go wrong but you've got to have the bottle to get up there again and put yourself in the window to get a goal. Yeah, like I said, I'm not, not striking so I can't speak with Dale but I'm sure he felt more than confident to take another penalty. You say you're not a striker but it was a pretty decent, tidy finish as a goal poacher himself pops up. But uh, Right place at the right time. Yeah, like I said, um, just continued for a run, found myself in the box and uh, just fell to me and put it in there. And you were saying that you got four goals for Histon last year, one for Boston at Colwyn Bay, which turned into be a pretty crucial one. So you are adept at not popping up every so often. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think get five or six this year. Uh, I think that'll be a good return for a fullback. So that's the aim. And your long throws, not so much today, but they've been causing problems and led to two goals at Colwyn Bay. So presumably you're pleased to contribute however it comes along. Yeah, like I said, um, a couple of assists here and there are doing good, but the shoulders playing off a bit in the, with the wet weather, uh, you can't for as long, but if you can continue that for the season, then hopefully it could come up with a couple of assists. Yeah, it must have been hard, especially at Tamworth, where it was chucking it down and you'd, you'd had the bad shoulder injury the previous Saturday, and then again today it's very wet, you had the tail out second half, presumably that was just to help you get a bit more distance. Yeah, like I said, the wet of the ball is the harder it is to throw, yeah. so if you get a towel and you just try it a little bit. Like I said, my shoulder's still playing up from, I can't remember what game it was now, but... Fair a bit, I think. But, yeah, my shoulder's still playing up from, but hopefully that will... It's getting better each game. So. And that Ferriby game remains your only defeat, so that's a that's a good start from the seven that you've played. Back home now, Tuesday night, but what on earth to expect from Oxford City? They got hammered at home today, but no doubt they'll be looking to get back on track as soon as they can. They lost 8-1 at home to AFC Fylde. So. Oh, well, maybe it's a good time to play them then. If, um, coming up with a great result today, then... Home game choosing that against uh, a team that's just got beat. Obviously, they're going to want to. Um, well, they're going to want to do the same again, but like I said, it's a good time to win. And your home form last year was your real strength. It's not quite been there this year. You obviously beat Barrow, edged out by Ferriby, and probably the most frustrating one of the lot was last Saturday where you just couldn't quite get the better of Stadium Bridge. Uh, yeah, that, like I said, um, it's been a bit of a struggle this year, I'm not sure why, I'm sure it'll work itself out, but like I said, it was very frustrating at Stanbridge, not just the result, but the way we played, it was one of the worst performances, but like I said, we can only move forward and I think today we played well.